Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.9.2 and Heat Blur Simulations AGS 37 Vigin Module. Welcome to Tutorial 12, Arc 71 General Purpose Bomb Plan Mode. Today I'm going to demonstrate the use of this standard general purpose bomb available on the Vigin in one of its three main modes, Plan. Uh, the, the bomb has a uh, plan, DYK and RR modes, plan mode being the, the standard mode which gives you access to CCRP and CCIP delivery mechanisms, uh, DYK is a dive bombing mode, and RR is a toss bombing mode in the Vigin. Today though we will only cover plan. Uh, plan is also subdivided into three further sub modes, those being level, direct and CCIP. Level is roughly equivalent to a CCRP delivery, it requires a target fix point and you would do this kind of attack at lowish level, flying level. Uh, direct mode gives you no symbology at all, just the ability to drop the bomb when you pull the trigger. And this would be done in a formation bombing attack, where your flight lead would probably do a level or a CCIP delivery and they would signal when you should pull your trigger. And if you're all flying in close formation, you'll of course carpet bomb an area together. And finally, you have CCIP, which, as the name may suggest, it's the same as the CCIP modes in other aircraft. You get symbology on the HUD, you put the symbols on the target, and you pull the trigger. Very, very simple. These, uh, these modes uh, vary on what variant of the Mark 71 they will work with. The Mark 71 is available in low and high drag configurations. On the aircraft right now is the low drag configuration with no parachutes. Uh, level mode, or level sub mode, can be utilised with both the low and the high drag variants. Direct only works with low drag, and CCIP only works with high drag. So these are important things to note. Uh, level sub mode is um, activated by putting the aircraft into attack master mode, ANF, but both direct and CCIP modes are accessed from nav master mode uh, when the trigger is set unsafe. Here on the aircraft today you can see the maximum possible loadout of Mark 71. Uh, we're carrying racks of four on pylons 2, 3, 5 and 6. And that gives us a total of 16 bombs. I'm also carrying sidewinders on the outer pylons for self-defense. Let's jump into the cockpit and get started with the setup. I'm first going to demonstrate level bombing. So as I said, for level bombing we do need a target fix. Uh, I have a target at waypoint B2, a formation of vehicles. Uh, it's currently just a standard waypoint though. So I'm going to set the computer to mode tactical and input mode. Enter code 9, select waypoint 2 and you can see that waypoint uh, B2 has now become M2, designating it as a target. We'll go back to output, back to actual position, and that's the setup done for the target fix point. Now, let's uh, focus down here a little bit on the weapon selector, or at least focus down on it as best as I can. Uh, you'll notice that on the inner ring, it's labeled bomb. And if I rotate this round a little bit, although it's upside down, you'll see that we have Plan, DYK, and RR, those master modes that I described earlier. Uh, today we want to make sure that we're in plan mode, because that's what I'm going to demonstrate. So rotate with a left click all the way around to the left, and you'll then be in bomb, plan mode. Next, we have the, uh, the interval selector. Uh, note that the first three options on this interval selector are just for illumination bombs, and they're marked lease, loose, something like that. Uh, and uh, they have options for Vö, Richt, and Hö. These uh, don't do anything when we're using Mark 71s. We want the other options with numbers. Uh, so you can see that we've got 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, and 60. These are meters uh, in separation for each bomb. Uh, we're gonna set it to 15 today. The only other option you have is impulse or series. You'll see that it's got a column for bomb against this one. Uh, impulse will drop a single bomb each time you pull the trigger. None of the, the modes in the Vigin are really designed for this, to be honest. I, I don't think there's much application for that. You're generally going to drop an entire stick of bombs, so you're going to want this to be in series. In series mode, you're going to pull and hold the weapon release trigger, and all of the bombs will come off one after another. And uh, you'll know that they're all gone 
when the furled last light illuminates, this red light on the right-hand side of the cockpit. Uh, I guess technically it would be possible to do a partial drop if you let go of the trigger kind of halfway through the stick, um, and then you could do another attack and drop, drop the other half, but the aircraft's really not set up to do that. It has no uh, way to set a total, total number of weapons to drop or intervals. It's always going to drop all the bombs singly. That's, uh, that's the only way it works. Uh, next, we'll get the cockpit all set up. Uh, so I'm going to make sure that my HUD is in the lower position, because we're going to be flying kind of lowish level here. This attack will be done at 200 meters. Uh, we're going to set the HUD into uh, slave F mode for low level. And because we're going to be flying at low level, I'm going to make sure that my radar altimeter is my height uh, source, which it currently is, with the switch in RHM. Uh, we also want to make sure that QFE is set for the target location. Uh, from my kneeboard, I know that this target is at 1010 QFE. And at that stage, that is everything set. So uh, we're going to approach the target in nav master mode uh, and at low level. I'm going to uh, go to zone 1 afterburner uh, and I'm going to aim to be at more than Mach 0.7. You're usually going to want to do these drops at kind of lowish altitudes between like Mach 0.7 and Mach 0.9 um, because otherwise the symbology won't stay in the HUD <laughs> is, the, is the main problem and also the drop won't be so accurate. So that's how we're going to do this. Uh, I'll continue inbound. Once we're at 10 kilometers, I will switch to attack master mode and we'll go over the symbology. So we're going to go zone one after burner and we're going to descend right now. And you can see speed coming up, altitude coming down. And as I said, I'm going to aim for something around about 200 meters. Oh, actually, we're actually a little bit low. Let's uh, just let it settle about there. I'm going to set reference altitude about there. And we'll continue inbound now. And speed is slowly coming up. Uh, okay. So I'm going to go attack master mode now, and I'm going to pause here, and we will quickly cover the symbology we have in attack master mode. So note that we have the target location denoted with this circle here. We have our weapon pipper. Uh, this is what we use for aiming. And at the bottom, we have the poles, which are part of the release queue system. Um, so once we get closer to the target, a bar, a horizontal bar will appear here, and it'll start counting down. Uh, as it uh, these outer poles here are like a weapons release queue, basically. Uh, as it's two seconds away from weapons release, the bar will flash. And then when we reach uh, weapons release queue, uh, the weapon aiming pepper will gain wings either side of it. That's our cue to pull the weapons release trigger and hold. While we're holding the trigger, the altitude queue will jump to the right hand side. And once all bombs are away, it'll jump back to the left. Then the filled last light will illuminate and we'll get a fin and wings over our aiming pipper, just to indicate that all weapons are away. Other thing to note in this mode, these vertical lines are just to help us uh, gauge if we're wings level or not. They will rotate based on how much we've rolled. And this fin in the middle indicates that we have radar ranging engaged and that we're getting a valid return. So we want to see this fin uh, during delivery. One very, very important thing to note, and this is something I got wrong a lot of times, uh, do not unsafe the trigger until you've uh, moved the aiming pepper into the circle, because unsafing the trigger, in effect, redefines the target location, uh, and so you're going to end up dropping short. You know, if I was to unsafe now, uh, the system is actually going to aim for a point well below where the, the target actually is. Um, so get a bit closer in, get the aiming pepper in the circle, and then unsafe the trigger. After you've done that, the aiming pepper will jump, because the system will recompute uh, all the parameters, and you'll then want to fly the pepper inside the target circle for the rest of the delivery. And that's how the system ensures that your aim is correct, uh, both in pitch and roll. Okay, let's reset the camera just now so we can see everything that we need to see. And I'm going to come out of pause, and we will continue inbound for now. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit closer, and then I'm going to pull up and put my pepper inside the circle. Unsafe. Everything jumps up again. Pepper back inside the circle. I've got radar ranging again, and I now want to hold the pepper in the circle for the rest of the flight towards the target. This will happen kind of quickly now. 
you can see symbology is coming down. Flashing, wings, held the trigger, we've got the red light. Let's pause, and we're going to now follow the bombs. Let's see if I did this right, because it can be pretty difficult to get this accurate. It looks like I didn't do an amazing job. <laughs> I fell a little bit short, and I think that was me, actually. Uh, I think I had the pipper a little bit low at the point of delivery. Nonetheless, that is the procedure. That's how it's done. Even if I only... Oh, yeah, actually, I didn't damage any of these vehicles. I did fall quite short. In any case, that's the mechanism. And I crashed my aircraft. <laughs> I was going to go back to F1 and show you what happens next. Uh, the next thing you would do is you would resafe the trigger and go back to nav master mode. Uh, and then you would continue your flight. But I, I was too busy uh, looking at my handiwork. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and reset and I'll now demonstrate CCIP. Okay, so you'd rejoin me with a new loadout of bombs. This time we're carrying the high drag variant of the Mark 71. These can be identified because they have these probes on the front of them, uh, and they actually have uh, parachute kits in the rear, but they're not so visible. The probes are the really obvious part. Uh, but other than that, it's the exact same loadout. Uh, I've done the same kind of setup as before, so I'm using Waypoint 2, and I've defined it as a target fix. However, for CCIP, you do not need a target waypoint. You can, in fact, use this mode for targets of opportunity. Uh, I'm only doing this to give myself a reference to fly towards. Uh, the weapons selector positions are the same as before. So again, bomb plan mode, you need to make sure that the selector is in that position. Uh, we can move to tactical and just confirm... Oh, actually, I'd have to have the trigger unsafe. Let me do that. Trigger unsafe, those pylons flash, trigger safe. So we know we've got the right weapon selected. 15 meter intervals and series again. And as before, uh, slave SIF mode for the HUD. Radar altimeter as my source. QFE set 1010. HUD in the low position. And for this attack, as I mentioned before, I'm going to stay in nav mode. We will not leave nav mode for this. Uh, I'm going to descend to about 400 meters, so not quite as low as the first time. Uh, but as before, we want to be going kind of fast. Uh, and I'll continue inbound. And we get our symbology when we unsafe the trigger. We don't uh, go into attack mode for this particular type of attack. So, that's probably not a bad altitude just now. I'll set reference there. We'll fly at about 250 for now. Uh, I want to fly a little bit higher here because we might, we'll almost certainly end up diving towards the target just a little bit. Uh, so as before, I'm going to continue inbound to about 10 kilometers, and then I'm going to unsafe the trigger, and we'll then get our attack symbology. And it'll be a little bit different this time for CCIP, and I'll go over that in just a moment. So 10 kilometers and trigger is unsafe. And at this stage, almost certainly the symbology is all below the HUD. I'm going to quickly dive down and see if we get it. Nope, not getting any symbology. Let's come back up. Wonder why we're we not getting our symbology. Yeah, so that's that. That's that. Maybe we're too high. I'm going to come down towards the target here and see if we can get that symbology. There it is. So, stop. Actually, let's get a bit closer. We're, we're too high. Stop. That's the problem. <laughs> I was too high for this particular release. So the, uh, the timing cues are exactly the same as before. You're going to get your poles, and you're going to get horizontal line. The horizontal line is going to flash two seconds before release, and then you're going to get wings on your pipper at release. However, Note that you have a circle, that's not the target location in this mode. What this is showing us is the target pipper is the first bomb impact point, and the circle is the last bomb impact point. So it's doing a calculation between these two. Your bombs are going to drop in a stick all the way along between these two points. As before, you've got altitude on the left, it will jump to the right during drop, and you've got these horizontal lines helping you uh, to maintain wings level. Now, this is going to be hard. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, they're all away. And off I go. And let's see, did we actually do a good job this time? Oh wow, okay, that was far more effective. I actually, if anything, I dropped a little bit long that time. So, 
uh, I, I pulled the stick right back because I didn't want to crash into the ground like I did last time. So we would then safe the trigger and we're immediately back in nav master mode. And uh, we could then continue our flight. And you'll see that the system is already automatically switched waypoint to the next waypoint. So that's job done, and the red filled last light is illuminated. So, that was a uh, CCIP mode. Uh, you can see all bombs are off, and I did at least hit one of the targets that time. My, my delivery was not brilliant. Uh, you know, as always with CCIP, you're going to want to generally do uh, a, a slight dive towards the target, just so you get better visibility of the symbology. Okay, let's jump in and we'll do direct mode. However, that one's not going to be much to look at. Okay, so you rejoin me inbound again. I've reloaded the aircraft this time with low drag bombs and we're in nav master mode. That means that when we unsafe the trigger, the system is going to default to the direct uh, release mode. Now, as I said before, this mode is intended for uh, formation drops of weapons uh, where your flight lead will have the symbology and he'll simply tell you when to pull the trigger. Um, so, of course, this is really not intended for this kind of application, but I thought I would simply demonstrate. Uh, so we're approaching 10 kilometers from the target. I'm going to pull the trigger, and you'll notice that there's absolutely no change in symbology. We're still in nav mode, in effect. But we now could uh, release the weapons at any time by simply pulling the weapons release trigger. I'm going to try and do this <laughs> by eye, so I'm going to wait until the targets disappear to the bottom of the HUD. I'm going to assume that that's about the right time, and I'm going to pull the trigger, and we'll see what we get. Uh, but yeah, th th this is not how you would use this. You would use this in a, a formation attack. I'm actually having a hard time seeing the symbology in this uh, when you're using nav mode, so I'm popping the HUD back up again. You'd normally actually have the HUD in low mode for this kind of thing. So targets, bottom of the HUD, pulling the trigger, weapons are away. Let's see what we get. Oh wow, okay. So, in actual fact, uh, I was a little bit long. I should have pulled the trigger earlier. Uh, I was a bit higher than I was previously. Perhaps if I'd been at 200 meters, that would have worked. However, that's absolutely not how you're supposed to use that mode. Uh, as I said, that's for formation bombing. So, those are all three sub-modes of plan delivery. We have level, uh, which is used in attack mode, and it allows you to do a CCRP-style delivery. You've got direct, which I just demonstrated now, uh, where you have no symbology, no timing, you have to rely on another aircraft to tell you when to release, and then you have CCIP mode. And uh, note that direct mode can only be done with low drag bombs, CCIP mode can only be done with high drag bombs. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. It's a really big help to me and to the channel. You also have the option of further supporting the, the channel by joining Deep Hacks Ground Crew for a small monthly fee by clicking the join button below. Thank you very much, those of you who've already done so. Your names are appearing on screen now. Uh, there are some small benefits, other than just knowing that you're supporting me in creating this content. Uh, you get to join Deep Hacks Ground Crew Discord, where we all interact with each other. And we also, on a kind of semi-regular basis, we do some flying uh, together as well in DCS. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.